Hello. I recognize you. You're Sir Paul McCartney. No, my name is Kaka. What is your name? My name is Phil Jagielka. Don't you ever watch football on television? Yes, I play football for Brazil. That is why I am wearing this Brazil shirt. But why are you wearing Steven Gerrard's number 4 shirt? Steven Gerrard did not want it anymore. I found it in a bin. Fabio Capello says I'm better than him anyway. Do you like salsa? I prefer tomato ketchup. I mean salsa dancing. I did not realize the Beatles did salsa dancing. I am not Paul McCartney. I like to salsa dancey with beautiful ladies. Are you still married to the Geordie prostitute with one leg? I bet salsa dancing with her is an interesting challenge. John Terry told me he shagged her before you. Is there a big market for one-legged prostitutes in the Northeast? I am not married to this woman. I have a beautiful wife called Caroline. I would be careful Sir Paul. She may be another gold digger. I am not Sir Paul McCartney. I am Kaka. Okay. I think I recognize you now. You're the Brazilian football player who is inferior to me in every way. I met Ronaldo the other day. Do you know him? Which one? The Brazilian Ronaldo? Yes. The fat one. He is not fat. He is a great player. He has more chins than a Chinese telephone directory. Does he still enjoy transvestite prostitutes? No, that was a mistake. He did not know they were men. That's what they all say. George Michael was using that excuse for years. I wonder if Sir Paul McCartney has ever been to Brazil. The resemblance between you two is uncanny. Maybe your mother was a Beatles groupie. And she let Sir Paul quickly dip his pen in the ink. Do not speak about my mother in this way. You have deeply offended me Mr. Jagielka. In Brazil we hold our mothers to be sacred. Maybe he hid the snake in the bush. Drove the beef bus to Tuna Town. Parked the Beamer in the love garage. Do not say these things. Then agree to my demands for DNA testing. To prove if Sir Paul McCartney is really your father. I assure you I am not related to any of the Beatles. Why are we sat in a press conference scenario talking about your parentage? I could be doing something far more useful. Like killing squirrels with a catapult or eating a double decker. We were invited here today to speak about racism in football. Yes racism is a problem. But I must admit that the small legs of the Chinese makes it impossible for them to kick opposing players up in the air. We must find a way to genetically modify their legs or ban them from the game. Football in its purest form should be about beautiful passing and technique on the ball, not violent tackling. You really are an idiot aren't you? If we ever meet on the football field, I will destroy you. It is okay to try. But we have a very good team. Brazil are mediocre at best. They are not renowned for producing quality players. Unlike the powerhouse of world football. England. I do not mean any disrespect. But there are far better international teams than England. Do not let John Terry hear you say that. He will have you killed. He told me he once had his postman killed. As he suspected he was limp-wristed. That is not very nice. I know. That's why he had him killed. The arrogance of the English is unbelievable. You were making a complete fool of yourself. Just because we are far superior to any other country does not make us arrogant. It just makes us better. In terms of football what have your country achieved? 1966. Enough said. And what has your country achieved? We have won five World Cups. Pathetic. Not even worth you turning up. This meeting is over. Goodbye son of Paul.